Elon Musk is set to turn the trucking industry upside down with Tesla's new electric semi. Tesla launched this product in an attempt to revolutionize the freight and logistics industry, and after five years of waiting, they are finally in early production with the Tesla semi-electric truck. The Tesla CEO has just confirmed that they'll be making 50,000 of these in 2024, and they're ready to scale over the next 12 months. But where will Tesla make these huge vehicles? Join us as we explore Tesla's new semi-truck Gigafactory. Trucks are vital to modern-day society. They transport raw materials from the mines to the factories, components from the factories to assembly plants, and finished products to their sales destination. Literally every physical thing you have in your house has more than likely spent time being transported by a driver in a truck. Since the first semi was invented in 1898, they've been a critical part of our economy and way of life. But the industry has some issues. Trucks have to be solid and powerful, which is why for decades they've been powered by fossil fuels. As a result, the trucking industry is one of the guiltiest industries for carbon emissions. There's also a global driver shortage due to the long hours you spend on the road and low pay. To add to this, there are heavy restrictions on how many hours a driver can work before taking a rest. Elon Musk spotted these things and decided that this industry could be ripe for disruption. During the conference call that followed the release of Tesla's Q3 2022 financial results, CEO Elon Musk announced, We're, we're tentatively aiming for 50,000 units in 2024 for um, Tesla Semi in, in North America. And, and uh, obviously we'll expand beyond North America. This number is far more than any had previously thought possible for Tesla. Electric.co had previously reported that Tesla would have capacity at their Giga Nevada for five per week, which totals roughly 250 per year. It was revealed on the 29th of September that Tesla received their Certificate of Conformity for the Tesla Semi, which means it meets the EPA's emissions and fuel economy requirements. This was followed by a tweet from Elon. Excited to announce start of production of Tesla Semi truck with deliveries to at Pepsi on December 1st. The truck is powered by four electric motors, with one at each wheel. It claims its drivetrain will have a lifespan of a million miles, and it'll have an independent suspension that adjusts automatically based on the terrain of that wheel. The driver's seat is elevated, allowing them to see more of the road. A system of external cameras will deliver live video of the surroundings on two screens. Inside the cabin, the driver sits right in the center, allowing for the best view of the truck and also making the semi one of the most aerodynamic vehicles of its size. A flat floor and side flaps that automatically adjust to the trailer's height help the truck cut through the air with ease. This is important so as to squeeze as many miles from the battery as possible because the higher the resistance caused by the wind, the more energy required to move and the less available driving range. If you're looking at the numbers, the Semi's drag coefficient is 0.38 CD. That's much better than other diesel trucks that have a value of between 0.65 and 0.7 CD. A lower value means the vehicle is performing better aerodynamically. The Tesla Semi truck features a regenerative braking system which recycles energy loss when slowing down, topping up the battery and boosting range. Tesla believes that the system is so effective that the brake pads themselves will never have to be replaced. The Tesla Semi is set to have 500 miles of range. This is an area of skepticism, so Elon Musk was quick to point out some important facts during a call. No sacrifice to cargo capacity, 500 mile range. Just to be clear, 500 miles with the cargo on level ground. Musk was clear to note that traveling up an incline would obviously reduce the truck's range. However, when EVs head downhill, they can recoup energy thanks to their regenerative braking systems. Musk has, however, hinted at a 1,000 kilometer range, which is about 620 miles. To make the battery go further, Tesla's developed another innovative solution, an automatic tire inflation system for the Semi. Having properly inflated tires is not only important for safety, but according to the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, it can also affect fuel efficiency and increase tire wear. A 0.5 to 1% increase in fuel consumption is typical for commercial vehicles with tires that are underinflated by 10 PSI. So not only will maintaining tire pressure help keep trucks breakdown free, it'll save money and improve range. One of the largest talking points about the Tesla Semi is recharging. 
Time is money, after all, and if a driver has to wait around for hours to charge the Giga battery the Tesla Semi uses, it'll be a total waste of time. Well, you can trust Tesla to innovate its way out of a problem. The answer is the Mega Charger. A Mega Charger can give you an 80% charge in as little as half an hour. This boost gives a driver 400 miles of range. Full details have yet to be released, but these chargers are expected to be several times faster than the latest V3 Tesla superchargers, which can charge vehicles such as the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y at speeds of up to 250 kilowatts. These mega chargers have already been installed at PepsiCo factory in anticipation of their delivery of Tesla semis on December 1st. When it comes to payload, the semi can carry up to 80,000 pounds, which is equivalent to 36 metric tons. This makes it a Class 8 truck. The Semi will also benefit from an allowance granted specifically to fully loaded electric trucks. The US allows for an extra 2,000 pounds for electric trucks compared to diesel equivalents to account for the extra weight of the battery. One interesting fact, because the truck doesn't need diesel, obviously, Tesla claims that over two years, drivers will save over $200,000 by not filling up at the pump. The Semi will pay for itself in no time. Tesla will build the Semi at Giga, Texas. That factory is one of the largest buildings on planet Earth and is equivalent to about 15 city blocks or three pentagons. It's currently home to the production of the Model Y and in the future will be the location where both the Tesla Semi and Tesla Cybertruck are built. There have recently been reports of Cybertruck chassis being spotted around the factory. This likely means that they're starting to calibrate the new 9,000-ton clamping force Giga Press custom built just for the Cybertruck. The Giga Press, weighing 170,995 pounds, arrived in the US from Italy on the 28th of September. This innovation will greatly reduce the time it takes to build each truck, as well as improve quality and consistency. The factory is also home to one of the world's most advanced paint shops. This will be used to coat the all-aluminum bodies of both vehicles. The Tesla Semi will include Tesla's enhanced autopilot mode, as most people expected. This allows the car to automatically brake in an emergency, keep itself in its lane, and steer itself. It also includes a warning system for when the driver is about to leave their lane. They'll also be equipped with jackknife prevention technology. Jackknifing, often the start of major traffic backups, happens when a large truck starts skidding and the trailer attached to the tractor or cabin swings and folds around, often in front of the tractor making the shape of a half-open jackknife. This is really dangerous. According to Tesla, the Tesla Semi sensors detect the start of any instability and instantly start countering it by applying torque to each wheel and activating all the regenerative brakes independently as necessary. The price of the Tesla Semi has been a bit of a mystery since it was removed from the Tesla website. But back in 2017, it had a starting price of $180,000 for the long-range model. Musk has also said he anticipates a freight user to save $100,000 on fuel costs per year. If this turns out to be correct, the truck will pay for itself in just under two years. What do you think about the Tesla Semi? Let us know in the comments if you think this is the end of diesel-powered trucking. If you've watched until now, thank you very much. Please. Consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos about EVs, Tesla, Ford, and the latest car news just like this.